Hey guys, today we're going to be doing an unboxing on this really cool camel puppet from Folk Manus. In SML, this camel is known as Kamil Habib Habab. This is actually a rare discontinued retired puppet that SML used since 2020. And this is a puppet that I wanted to get for a short time because I recently thought of a video idea for this. So that's why I decided I should get this. I'm going to take this thing out right now. Okay, let's look at the camel. So, as you can see, this is what the side of him looks like. Unfortunately, this cannot stand. So I have to move this back and do this. There's actually a mark on the side of him. I'm probably going to clean that right after because I think it might be a stain. And I don't usually like when things have stains in them, but if they do, I try to clean them up so at least I can enjoy having them. I have toys with slight stains that I don't mind, like the Devil Puppet from Sony Toys. It had a slight stain on the back of his shirt, um, like a yellow stain. But I didn't mind that because the cape would cover the back of his shirt and you can't even see the back of his shirt. Anyway, unless I show everything in the review. And in the pictures on Instagram, I showed every part of him. He is a really nice puppet for sure. His tail is pretty floppy. Yeah. Let's look at him this way. I'll just move the tag out of the way. He does have a tag on the inside of him here. Yeah. This is the stain that I'm talking about here. Do you see that? I'm just trying to move him up a little bit so you can see. It is a little crazy. Go put my hand inside him right now so you can see him talk. Um, my arm is pretty far. This is Camille Habib Habab speaking. How can I help you with your order for food like McDonald's, or even Wendy's, or Burger King, or whatever you want? Doesn't matter what you, what your order. Just tell me what you want so I can help you. Yeah. Yeah, I have to put my hand like all the way inside him, which is pretty far up, but that's because it has a long neck, and he does have a hang tag attached to his tush tag though. So yeah, of course, of course any puppet from Folk Manus would have a tiny hole in their tush tag because of how they attach the, the tag fastener, but usually holes like that are barely noticeable. So this is the tag, the front of it, this is the inside, and this is the other side. Can you see that? And then this has got a strange tag right here. It's like a tush tag, I don't even know why that this is on here, but I feel like I feel like this is almost like a tush tag. I don't recommend you cutting tush tags off of puppets, but if you want to, if you want to cut the hang tag off, I don't see a problem with that because it would look funny if you used it in a puppet show, and we want it to look more professional, like it's a character. And this is the folk manis tag right there, tush tag. Looks the same as any other one, just different color. The other side doesn't say anything. Look, this has a sticker on it. 
over the barcode number. I could probably take that sticker off of him and show you what's under there. Don't worry, I'm not going to rip the tag because I would never do that. I'm only... I'm not going to rip the tush tag at all, but I might rip the sticker a little bit trying to get it off. And I recommend you be as careful as you can with stickers too. Like if there's stickers that are important, but if they're like press stickers, you probably should not care as much. Oh, I probably should not take this sticker off because a little bit of the ink came off from when they printed the words and stuff on the tag. So I'm just going to leave that part alone and not do anything with it. The only thing I am going to do is try to clean that stain off his neck because I don't really like it. And you know what? I forgot to show you. Maybe you've seen it, but yeah. I'll probably show you this. Um, these are the bottom of his feet right here. Isn't that a little bit funny? It's pretty cool, isn't it? Please subscribe to this channel for more content.